we're going back to the moon again in 2023. Multiple uncrewed landings are planned for the next 12 months, spurred on by a renewed effort in the US to return humans to the lunar surface later this decade. We could see the launch of big rockets, such as ULA's Vulcan Centaur or Blue Origin's New Glenn. Of course, the one that we're most looking forward to is SpaceX's first orbital flight of their largest rocket that the world has ever seen, the Starship. There's no doubt that these behemoths will be able to easily loft huge satellites into orbit and even take us to new lands, changing the way we travel through space. But as a whole, heavy lift rockets are not new faces. They've all been in the space race for several years now, for a variety of reasons, often due to technical issues leading to multiple launch attempt delays. However, the year of 2023 is expected to become the biggest for the space industry yet. Thus, we're looking forward to witnessing the appearance of a new game changer, which could be the biggest rocket ever seen, even bigger than Starship. In fact, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk has long been hinting at a new rocket as Starship's successor, which we have come to call Starship 2.0. The question is, will SpaceX's bigger and better Starship 2.0 be built in 2023? Find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. First off, let's take a sneak peek at the awesome power of SpaceX's newest monster. According to Musk, a theoretical next, next generation SpaceX rocket to potentially follow some years after Starship and Super Heavy could be a full 18 meters wide, which is twice the diameter of its predecessor. Many will recollect that doubling the diameter of a circle quadruples its area. Adding in a doubling of height and a theoretical Starship 2.0 would have eight times the surface area and eight times the propellant tank volume, requiring roughly eight times as much thrust and making the vehicle eight times as heavy as Starship 1. Assuming that Starship's successor retains its fineness ratio, which is the product of height times width, an unlikely end result, but still interesting to ponder, the vehicle would measure 18 meters in diameter and a terrifyingly tall 236 meters, approximately, which is literally more than twice as tall as the Saturn V. That's the height of the Woolworth Building in New York, or three quarters of the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. An 18 meter diameter would also make it the widest rocket ever built, with Saturn V's S IC first stage measuring 10 meters wide, and the Soviet Union's N1 Block A first stage measuring an impressive 17 meters or so in diameter at its widest point. If the aforementioned assumptions are correct, how much payload can SpaceX's next super heavy launch system carry? A very rough estimate would peg Starship 2.0's gross or field mass at a gapsmacking 40,000 or so metric tons. The upgrade for the Starship 2.0 might be able to launch over a thousand tons per launch, 10 times the supposed capacity of the Starship 1. The smallest Project Orion design was about 17 meters in diameter and weighed 300 tons. This was called Satellite Orion. This means a Starship version 2 would have the payload diameter and cargo capacity to launch a complete satellite Orion. The parts for 4,000 ton interplanetary Orion could be placed into Orion with about four launches. The massive payload of a future generation SpaceX Starship 2 could also launch factories and advanced production systems to the moon. Creating the production systems for nuclear pulse propulsion on the moon would remove concerns about nuclear radiation from a ground-launched Project Orion. Such capability would enable manned interplanetary, gravitational lens range, and interstellar missions. More importantly, Musk will be able to achieve his Martian target faster with this larger and more powerful starship. The capacity to lift more goods per trip will make delivering the supplies needed by colonizers faster by reducing the number of trips required. The number of passengers every batch on Starship 2.0 will also grow. The current passenger capacity of the Starship is estimated 
estimated to be 100. However, the 2.0 version could have a passenger capacity of up to 1,000, reducing the duration of the waiting list for interested voyagers. The time it takes to travel will be decreased, allowing Musk's passengers to reach Mars sooner than expected. This will undoubtedly make the journey less tedious. Starship now is relying on its Raptor engines. SpaceX will use 33 Raptor 2 engines to power the super heavy first stage and six on the Starship upper stages for initial test flights. If SpaceX were to use the current generation of Raptors to power such a colossal rocket, the booster would need a bare minimum of more than 100 Raptors just to lift off at all. But he also pointed out via Twitter that Raptor 2 has significant improvements in every way, but a complete design overhaul is necessary for the engine that can actually make life multiplanetary. It won't be called Raptor. In other words, SpaceX will launch an engine that is superior to anything before in the future. This engine will be a big step for SpaceX to come close to its ultimate goal, which is making humans a multiplanetary species. However, this is all speculation at this point. Without any shadow of a doubt though, it's an exciting prospect. What's more, Musk's allusion to a next generation spacecraft that doubles the diameter of the current Starship is in keeping with his ambitious nature. It's exciting to think about what this ship could do if it is successful. It could also be anything you can imagine. Finally, let's address the million dollar question. Will SpaceX build a bigger and better Starship 2.0 in 2023? Although we all hope that's coming up pretty soon, we're still waiting for the first orbital test flight of Starship. When Musk gave an update in September of 2019, he predicted that the first orbital flight would occur within six months. SpaceX has yet to try an orbital launch of Starship. In the meantime, SpaceX is also filling the manifest of private human space flights on Starship and its super heavy rocket. There's billionaire Jared Isaacman's Polaris 3 mission, likely to low Earth orbit, which will be followed by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maezawa's Dear Moon flight, the first human starship flight around the moon, then Dennis Tito's mission on the second circumlunar flight. SpaceX has also contracted with NASA to fly the first human landing on the moon as part of the Artemis program. But for now, NASA astronauts will launch on a separate rocket and rendezvous with Starship in lunar orbit to go down to the lunar surface and back up to orbit. Musk and his team will probably have more time when Starship officially goes into operation. So it could be a bit, and by a bit, I mean a while. And by a while, I mean several years, if not more, for SpaceX to embark on building the next generation Starship rocket, Starship 2.0. 2023 is definitely off the table, as well as 2024. SpaceX has a reasonable chance of making its new gen rocket during the last quarter of 2025 if NASA's Artemis 3 goes according to plan. Of course, the design process can be finalized in advance. In any case, as Musk has said before, the, For the designing of it is not hard. The making of it is, of even one is hard. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.